This video is on Internet Control Message Protocol, ICMP. ICMP is a protocol that provides error checking and reporting functionality. It can be used for a number of functions, but its main function is to determine if the data is getting to its designation and at the right time. It can let you know if the data was delivered successfully or not, along with useful data like how long it took. ICMP is known for its ping and traceroute utility. Ping can send stream of ICMP echo requests to a remote host. If the host can respond, it does so by sending echo reply messages back to the sending host. In that process, ICMP enables the verification of the protocol suite configuration of both sending and receiving nodes and any intermediate networking devices. However, ICMP's functionality is not limited to the use of ping utility. ICMP can also return error messages such as destination unreachable and time exceeded. Traceroute is another similar utility to ping. Traceroute also tells you how much time it took for the data to go from one device to another. Each time data goes between routers, the trip is referred to as a hop. The information revealed by the traceroute can be used to figure out which devices along the route are causing delays. A ping is similar to traceroute but simpler, it reports how long it takes for data to go between two points. In addition to these functions, ICMP performs source quench. In a source quench, the receiving host cannot handle the influx of data at the same rate as the data is sent. To slow down the sending host, the receiving host sends ICMP source quench messages, telling the sender to slow down. This helps prevent packets from dropping and having to be resent. Now let's talk about the vulnerabilities. ICMP is known for DDoS attacks. First, we have ping of death. In a ping of death attack, attackers send an extremely large ping or malformed ping to a device that cannot handle pings of that size. This may cause the machine to crash or freeze up. The packet of data is fragmented as it heads towards the target, but during the reassembly process, it is put together. When it reaches the target, there's a buffer overflow causing the device to malfunction. Ping of death attacks are common for older equipment within the network. Then we have smurf attack. In this attack, attackers transmit ICMP packet that has spoofed IP address. When the equipment on the network replies, each reply gets sent to the spoofed IP address, and the target is flooded with ton of ICMP packets. Once again, this attack is common for older equipment. You can prevent these attacks by configuring your firewall, adding filters to your router, looking at spoofed packets, and monitoring traffic patterns as well as scanning your network.